Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the uh, developer unit setup for the Daydream controller. Now, what you're seeing here is uh, the general size of the controller, how it's going to be when it ends up coming out later uh, this year, as set up on a Samsung Galaxy S7. You can set this side of the equation up on basically any phone, just so long as it can run uh, a newer version of Android. The uh, only thing that this does is turn this touchscreen into a set of controls, uh, touch control up here, uh, two buttons right down here, and then to use the uh, sensors inside the device. This then works as the controller as it would with Daydream uh, once it's all set up and you get the actual hardware. Now what you're seeing over here, if you get focused in, is uh, a Daydream controller sample uh, app. Now this is running through uh, USB here through the software developer kit with Daydream. Up here you can see status, control connection, uh, the orientation of the controller, which is this again. Uh, you can see the touchpad. If I have a touch on there, it'll show me what I'm looking at. Different numbers there. You can see just uh, X and Y. And then um, the bottom there seems to be five spots for buttons. There's only two buttons for now. We're assuming there's going to be more. As you can see, if I tap hard enough here, you can see that there's a third button that pops up there. Um, and I can do both of these at once. A, H, A, H, and then the T. Now, the cool thing about this is the speed at which it goes. You can see it's keeping up pretty well. There's obviously going to be some latency in that we're connected with... Uh, Wi-Fi at the moment, that's how this is connected to the other. Um, in the future, it might be Wi-Fi Direct or uh, more with Bluetooth, we're not sure. But the other thing you can see here, when you're using something like HTC Vive, you're using uh, lots more sensors, so you're able to see this go up and down in space. What this does instead is to use the orientation and that, uh, you know, you see the green area right here shows where you're pointing that will allow you to see what you're pointing at in space. You'll so see the demo that we uh, got earlier this week from Google to show you some of the apps you'll be working with. Instead of moving up and down in space, you're only assuming that this controller is uh, pointing to the direction that you want it in, if that makes sense. Uh, once again, this controller will be coming out later this year. Uh, different manufacturers will be making it. Google will be making one too. And then the headset, which will be, you know, this part of the equation, will be made by Google and by other manufacturers as well. Based on a smartphone, this is a Nexus 6P, by the way. That's the only device you can develop on for now. And we'll see more in the future. Check it out.